Uh, I'm John Tracy, and I collect a lot of stuff. I collect toys, comics, art, posters, one-sixth, a lot of hot toys, sideshow, custom pieces from people who work in the uh, you know movie monster makeup industry. I've always loved comic books, and that's really what got me into it, collecting comic books, and I read my comic books. I'm not one of the guys that just uh, just bought them as like an investment. I actually like to read comic books. And then from that, there was toys, and I'd start buying those. And then I think everybody kind of takes that break around high school time or right when they get out of high school. So I definitely had that. And then I started picking up the toys heavily again uh, when NECA started releasing a lot of horror stuff. So I go to Frank and Sons and go to the, there's a lady there called the NECA lady. And she really got me into collecting again. And then from there, I went to Hot Toys. Man, I've been collecting, again, since I was a little kid. I mean, I did, when I was really young, I did the He-Man stuff, and then recently I've gotten into Sofubi. The last few years I've been doing comic book art. I just love the, uh, you know, just collecting and the communities that you get to meet now, especially online, with pretty much every type of collectible. The types of characters I collect when it comes to hot toys, I collect Marvel, I collect DC. Um, I do like the stuff that there's not a lot of merchandise for. Like right now, I really like the Back to the Future stuff aliens, predators, stuff like that. That I, I usually like a lot more than just the uh, comic book stuff. With the soft vinyl, the stuff that got me into it was actually Instagram. There's a lot of custom guys that again are making horror movies that just don't have any merchandise. Like a uh, house, uh, split second, things with like Rooker Hauer, some anime stuff. A lot of them did a lot of resin figures and then they started doing Sofubi. So then I just started getting into that. A lot of the stuff that I wanted to collect with the customized stuff is horror. Living in LA, there's a lot of people who, who work in the movie industry, who work in uh, monster makeup. And honestly, the stuff that scared me as a kid is the stuff that I like to collect now. So anything like that and anything that just doesn't have any licensed merchandise is usually what I go after. You know, anything that scared me when I was a kid, for some reason, I want to have it now. The favorite horror movie franchise? There's so many you can go through. There's, you know, Halloween, Michael Myers, uh, Jason. Um, now, I think Halloween's probably the best all-around slasher, but I think if I had to watch every single movie in a franchise, Friday the 13th is one of the ones that I can watch all the movies and, and not get sick of them. There's, they're all pretty, well, they're all kind of the same, but um, I think Friday the 13th is the easiest one to watch all of them. When it comes to displaying stuff, it's, it's kind of just where it'll fit. I do like moving stuff around and, and uh, Luckily working, you know, merchandising jobs when I was younger kind of helps me with that. But uh, it's just, you know, where it'll fit, you know, what I can move around. Some stuff goes in storage if I can. And then now it's almost seasonally. I'm in a horror mood. I bring out more horror stuff. If I'm in a Sofubi mood, I put more of my Sofubi stuff out. I mean, some of my favorite stuff, I wouldn't say it's a toy line, but it, it's Pennywise. Like that movie, the original one, when I was a kid, it came out on VHS and I would only watch the first tape where it was the kids versus Pennywise. That terrified me as a kid. Tim Curry as Pennywise was frightening, so that's one of my favorite things to collect. I have a, a large collection of Pennywise stuff, and and it's not just action figures, just collectibles. I, you know, that's something I even bought pops of. It's just something, if I see Pennywise, I want it. For the eras that I like, I'd probably say, you know, maybe even like 10 years ago, just when Hot Toys was first coming out, that really got me back into collecting. I, I loved He-Man and I liked Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. You know, back then I couldn't get to the, you know, to the Toys R Us as often as I wanted to when I, you know, when I was a kid. I just didn't have the, the money or the means. And now I can pretty much get whatever I want. And uh, Hot Toys was really the one that brought me back into collecting and a high quality figure and they display well. And the, the good thing about those that I like too is like, Sometimes you get sick of, of a statue or, or certain things, but you know, those, you go through a cabinet, you repose everything, and it, it feels brand new again. Uh, the most valuable piece of my collection, um, again, because I collect so many different things, you know, I have a, uh, the first appearance of the Sentinels, which is X-Men 14, that I got signed by Stan Lee. I mean, it's, it's not the most expensive comic, but it's just a, a memory that I have of that meeting Stan Lee and having something he created that I, I got him to sign. When it comes to some of the uh, horror stuff that I collect, I have a Dracula bust by EFX, 
uh, life designs. And uh, it's just, the detail on it is insane. It's pretty limited and uh, it's just, it's just a great, great statue. Um, when it comes to Hot Toys, uh, my favorite one is still, well, it's, it's actually not a Hot Toy, it's an Enter Bay figure, uh, the Enter Bay Leon. It was the first one that I bought, uh, first one six scale figure, and that it was just such a unique uh, license that there's nothing for uh, that I had to have it. I mean, I like that there's some of the things in my collection that are worth money, but it's more of uh, the experience and meeting people. And again, the EFX bus that I have by Darren, those are great because I, I ordered them from him. He's a, you know, he's an artist. When I went to go pick him up, like I, I hang out with the guy, I talk to the guy, and then, you know, I buy his art. Those are always uh, good memories. And that, that's more important to me than, than the monetary value of something. Where I shop mostly is, uh, I used to go to Frankincense a lot, uh, not so much since the pandemic. But a lot of the stuff I, I get online or I meet people on Instagram, a lot of the custom stuff is strictly through Instagram. I wouldn't consider myself a completist, no. I don't, if I miss something, I usually, I, I don't, I don't have to have everything. I have a lot of Marvel Hot Toys, but you know, I might be missing a vision. It, it's not something that keeps me awake at night, so no. Family and friends, and uh, what they think about my collecting, it's different. I mean, my dad, I would say, doesn't understand it. Uh, my sister loves it. My girlfriend thinks it's it's cool, but uh, that's what she says. I don't know if she actually thinks that <laughs> on my wish list. That's, that's, uh, that's a tough one. Actually, you know, watching some of your videos, uh, what, some of the old hot toys that I missed out on that I can't believe I did was the, uh, the female predator, the uh, Machiko, that's a good one. One of the early comic books that I remember reading was the original Aliens vs. Predator uh, trade. And then uh, even the, the Chris Reeve Superman, that's another one, again, because there's so much new Marvel and so much new DC that I want some of the old stuff again from when I was a kid, and that's, that's one that's been missing from my collection for a long time. Overall goal for me collecting, I'd say no. I just enjoy it. I enjoy the communities a lot, especially when the pandemic happened. It's just you know you need some type of you know way to connect to people, and collecting is good with that. And it's good you know we're the, kind of the first uh, generation of collectors that had social media, so it's it's pretty interesting. I, I just you know just like collecting, and I I dabble in so many different things that um, you know that's I, I like everything. <laughs>